All right, so this is something you can do if you have some old eyeshadow palettes that you maybe no longer use. Um, I got these little containers from Dollar Tree. They did come in a pack of three with a mixing spatula, but I did misplace the spatula. So I'm using a toothpick. I laid down some plastic just to protect the furniture because I didn't know how messy it would be, but that's just my preference. Um, but this is nothing fancy, guys. Honestly, this is just have a little fun. Almost, you could look at it like an arts and crafts project, if you will. Uh, you can kind of mix up these eyeshadows and see what you come up with. Now, I decided to continue mixing purples because this purple that I have here is a from Urban Decay. Can't remember the name of the particular color, but I decided to mix a darker purple with it. Now, if I had the mixing spatula, this probably would have been a smoother mix, but you see there's nothing fancy going on here. I'm just keeping it real with you. But uh, it's, it's coming out pretty good, I believe. Now, I could have kept mixing some more colors, but I decided to stop and test a little swatch on my hand just to see what it would look like. Now, I did not put primer on my hand, so it's not like you can see the color all that well. But I would say this came out pretty cool. Now, I did pack it on some more just so that I could see. But you see that project mat is really, boy, I use that for every project pretty much. All right, so now you can see that color a little bit better. So moving on to the next color, bronze is one of my favorite colors. I decided to, bronze and golds, um, I decided to mix the croissant from the Too Faced palette with this bronze just to see what I would get. Now in hindsight, I should have put the gold in there. I might go back and do that anyways. And it's the same thing, just crunch that baby up, get it as fine as you can so that whenever you apply it to your lid, it's a smooth application. Now some people choose to mix alcohol and aloe vera with it, I believe, to make it back into a pressed powder form and put it back into the palette. And you could choose to do that if you like, but I'm, I barely wear makeup anymore these days. When I do, I have fun with it, but anyway, so I cleaned off the brush and here is another just test swatch. Now I like this color because it's almost like a metallic nude on me. And I like the nudes and browns, um, but I like this color. So anyways, play around with it, see what you come up with. And um, if you choose to, you can mix it up even finer than I did. You can punch some holes in the top of the containers and glue down the uh, plastic lid and make it more like a, a powder form. But anyways, guys, love you much. Tell me if you come up with something better or you have your own twist on this, I would love to know.